welcome to Flo's Homemade. Today I'm making pepper soup rice and I'm using Flo's Homemade pepper soup spice which is available to buy in the link below. Let's get started. You're going to need onions, atarodo or any chili of your choice, one little garlic, a knob of butter, um, some rice. I'm using two cups of rice and some seafood. I'm using cooked prawns. Uh, you can use fish or any other kind of prawns that you like. Let's get started. We get started on medium high heat and in goes some oil into the pan and a knob of butter. If you don't have butter, you can just use oil, that's fine. Please let that start to melt a little bit. With your butter melting quickly, um, you want to toss in the onions before the butter burns. Using two small onions here, and then mix it. We're going to saute the onions for about three minutes and during this time I'm going to go ahead and wash the rice wash it thoroughly to remove any excess starch so you can see our onions are browning and that's what you want you want it to start to brown but not burn um, and now it's time to go in with some of the essential ingredients first we go with a little bit of garlic fresh garlic if you don't want to use fresh garlic that's fine um, some people don't like garlic, but I'm going to use garlic. The fresh garlic goes in grated. And because garlic burns easily, the time is ticking at this point. In goes some fresh atarodo. Again, these things can burn if you let them stay too long, so you can reduce your heat at this point and then just saute that. So quickly, so quickly we're going to go in with Flo's homemade pepper soup spice. You need about two tablespoons of this. You need about a tablespoon per, per liter of fluid. So two tablespoons. And then give it a stir just to toast it lightly. You're not cooking it this way otherwise it might turn bitter. Now that's all incorporated, immediately we pour in our washed rice. That's why you needed to have washed your rice early on so that at this point you don't start scrambling for the rice. So this is washed. Two cups of basmati rice going in. The house is filled with the fragrance of this pepper soup rice. So once the rice is in, you want to use either water or stock. So for stock, I'm going to use dry stock powder and I'm using enough to, to make a full liter of stock. And then I'm going to go in with water. You want one cup of water for each cup of rice. <coughs> Give it a stir, bring up the heat, and then let it simmer for five minutes. Because this is basmati rice, it only takes 10 minutes to cook in total. So the first five minutes, it will cook on its own, and the next five minutes, we will add the seafood. Um, you wanna keep it covered so that it steams and the rice actually cooks through. I'm going straight in with my seafood. I'll give it a little salt, just a little bit, and then more water. At this point, another half a cup for every cup of rice. And give it a stir. It's starting to catch on the bottom, but it's not burned. 
Now you turn the heat down. Once you stir it together, you want to put some um, wax paper to let lock in the heat and allow it to steam for the next four minutes or so till the rice is nice and fluffy. I think it could use a little bit longer. Not too long though. Put the seal back. Maybe for another couple of minutes before you add the vegetables. Shall we remind ourselves how we got here? We browned some onions and atarodo. Then we added pepper soup spice with garlic and all those pepper soup goodness. For the final bit, we've added some vegetables and it's very nearly ready to eat literally now. Look at that. So that was it, our pepper soup fried rice, ready to eat. You don't need to have pepper soup in liquid form. You can have it with fried rice like this. And use up all those goodness for a lovely warm winter <laughs> indulgence like this rice. Give it a try, like us, subscribe, let us know how you find cooking this and uh, we'll be waiting to hear from you. Don't forget to buy your pepper soup spice using the link below.